It's a special day for mamas everywhere. That also means we've got a special Mother's Day edition of Heather on the Spot. It is spring, which also means it's foaling season. With so many equine babies being born, it keeps veterinarians very busy. One of their responsibilities is to do a wellness check on the mare and foal 12 to 24 hours after birth to make sure mommy and baby are healthy. And what exactly happens during a wellness check? To answer that question, Dr. Sarah Brunsden, a reproduction specialist from the Del Marva Equine Clinic, let us join her when she visited foaling manager Tom Kugel at the Teague Farm in Harrington recently. We start off with a full exam of the baby and also of the mare, do a couple blood tests and make sure everything's healthy on both of them. All right, well, we'll just sit back and watch ya. We always listen to their heart and their lungs and their gut sounds to make sure that it's all healthy. We always feel their belly button or the umbilicus to make sure that that uh, broke appropriately and dry. And then we feel all of their legs and joints to make sure that there aren't any problems. I'm just curious, what should their heartbeat be? Heart rate in foals is actually pretty high. It's usually about 120 beats per minute compared to adults are usually only about 40. Um, and the respirate similarly is also slightly uh, on the higher side. You're okay. This is probably the first time she's ever had her legs touched, so it's always a little bit exciting. Uh, and then we make sure to check their gums, make sure they're nice and pink, Ooh. that they have a good uh, suckle reflex, and there's no problems there. Her uh, nostrils are nice and clear, her eyes are bright and clear. And then we take her temperature, which is not the fun part. <laughs> And then next I'm gonna grab a syringe and we're gonna take some blood and run a blood test. So just curious, her temperature, what was that? Her temperature is 100.9. Uh, normal for foals uh, is usually about 100 to 102. So she's right in the middle. Perfect. Isn't it cute? <laughs> this we're taking blood for what's called an IgG test. That measures the level of antibodies in the blood. And that makes sure that the foal drank enough of the colostrum, which is the first milk. This is a colt. Yep. Okay. And how was the birth? Very good. Right on point. Nothing. No problems. No nothing. And how was the mom when he was born? She's, She's been a good mom. Absolutely perfect. She didn't mind that we were in here taking care of the baby. You know, giving him his enema and testing her colostrum and making sure it was you know a good colostrum. If not, we would have had to take some of our frozen from another mare but her colostrum was really good. So I'm sure the baby got enough, but we do the test just to be 100% sure. This is okay. checks to make sure the foal got enough of the colostrum. So it's called an IgG snap test. Um, so we have our little kit. We put the blood in a little bit of a, a purple top tube there. these loops to take a sample of the blood. And you put the blood into the solution here. Stir it around. Give it a good shake. Put a couple drops off. And then we put one drop on the little sample spot. Want to get a timer ready for you? Yep, seven minutes. And then we add our special reagent. And then we watch it'll come up to this little window. We'll snap the test down and then we wait seven minutes to see what the results are. We like to check the mare out after foaling too, listen to her heart and lungs and um, gut sounds, make sure her temperature is healthy and that everything went well with the birth.
her lungs and guts are all good on this side. Check her teeth to, or gums too, make sure she's nice and clean. Check her back end too, make sure there's no uh, swelling or anything like that. And then the other important thing to check is her udder. And you can see if the foal is actively nursing, the um, teats are milked out. Sometimes the udder is one of the main signs we see when a foal is sick. If the foal isn't eating properly, then you always want to make sure you check the mare's udders and make sure the foal is getting the right nutrition. So we waited our seven minutes and now our IgG test is done. So we have, um, basically that dot at the top is our sample dot and it's the darkest color dot, which means that his IgG levels are over 800, which is perfect. So he got plenty of colostrum and antibodies and he should be happy and healthy. All right. So uh, do you do a lot of these every year? Oh yes, absolutely. We'll even do, uh, do four or five a day sometimes. We see a lot of foals in our practice and then rebreeding the mares and uh, getting foals ready for next year. All right. Is this got to be one of your favorite parts of oh, the absolutely. job, right? This is this is why I do what I do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for doing this You're with welcome. us. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, happy Mother's Day. <laughs>